Hey, what's up, what's up, ladies and gents? As I promised, as I promised, as I promised, okay. I was gonna release some new chain blade builds for you guys. And one of the first ones that I'm gonna release now, this was already, I already put the build out during my stream. You know, it was in the description of the video. Is the same one, but this time I'm actually gonna break it down for you and show you how it works in actual combat. It is the Bastion chain blades. Now, you're gonna start off with the Death Blossoms, two pulse cells, for your special, Reaper's Dance currently has a major bug where your special can sometimes just get stuck and you don't gain any more special. It can be really painful, so um, Insatiable Dance is the closest that you'll get to this. Cruel Rift Strike, I don't know, I, I have literally no way of using this pro properly. I've tried 100 billion times. To those who can use it, kudos to you. Um, I find it absolutely trash burger. So Insatiable Dance is what I'm using for now, but uh, as soon as Reaper's Dance is unbugged, Please switch back to Reaper Stance because this will give you the highest damage possible. Okay, uh, two pulse cells in your Death Blossoms. Hurricane Blades will be your mod, but you can also choose Lightweight Chain. In fact, you'll see Lightweight Chain in the uh, Builder version of this. These two mods are the main ones that are used. You can use Momentum Blades if you want, honestly, up to you. Um, or you can use the Serrated Blades. Um, Serrated Blades is if you have a wounding focus. But in general, I find Hurricane Blades or Lightweight Chain to be fairly decent. And I'll be using Hurricane Blades in this one, okay? Um, I actually find the Lightweight Chain, the, ex the increased length of the chains, not really that useful. So I, I have never really uh, found too much benefit in it. I like using it, but Hurricane Blades does give me a little more leeway. Uh, Skarn's Malice is great for your bond because this will basically ensure that you have plenty of shields for your Bastion Omnicell, okay? Bastion's your Omnicell, obviously. Your Skarn's Defiance will become your Lantern with the Zeal Cell here. Now, one thing which you can do is if you really want to, you can dump one Zeal Cell for Energized if you really think that you want to increase the amount of gain on your momentum, but I prefer to go full Zeal. So honestly, your choice. Time Weave Helmet with the Predator Cell will be your Helm. Thrax's Shadow with a Galvanized Cell for your body piece. Thrax's Guile with a Galvanized Cell for your feet. Thunderdeep's Regulators with a Berserk Cell for your uh, arm piece. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, and uh, if you want to see it... In oh, sorry, almost forgot. Sorry, this is what meds do to me because I'm filming this like late at night. Sorry, I forgot to break down the talents for you. Cunning for your natural 10% critical strike chance. Okay. Galvanize because it gives you critical strike chance for your shields and boosts your critical strike damage. Predator to give you plenty of baseline damage and you've got plenty of evasion. I know people are like, oh, I can't fly in the air anymore. No, listen, you have to learn how to evade. Up to you if you don't want to learn that. Your choice. Uh, so Predator is great. Pulse, obviously, in a crit build, this is indispensable and it does plenty of damage. Zeal to make sure that you have plenty of shields coming out every time you pop your Skarns. Berserker is going to give you uh, more damage, although it eats into your health a little bit. You've got plenty of shields to deflect that. And Weighted Strikes will is just something you can't remove because it comes with the Skarn. Okay, so that's the breakdown of the skills. Now, if you guys want to see the Combat Showcase, and I highly encourage it so you can see how this build is played properly, you can uh, watch that. If not, like, share, and subscribe right now. If you want to keep my channel running, you want to you know, see the robot continue doing what he does, drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can choose to become a channel member on YouTube. You can send super thanks on YouTube or purchase Asian robot merchandise. Up to you how you want to support the channel, but if you want to see me, you know, keep doing what I do, that's the best way, man. Okay, now, sorry about that. I'm going to show off this build right now. Okay, so what you want to understand about this build first and foremost is that what you're really, what you're actually dealing with, what you're actually dealing with is um, basically you've got a situation where you want to chain pull in. Now this is a bit different from the builds shown in the tutorial because why you don't have to worry so much about your UE triggering. That's why in in the tutorial I didn't chain pull in, but this one you just chain pull freely which can give you a bit more freedom as well if you if you feel that way. And as soon, basically as soon as you get full stacks on your pulse, slam down. That's basically what you want to do. And whenever you have the opportunity to do so, for example, Behemoth's not really doing much, it's just kind of sitting there. That's when you want to go in with your uh, blades. You want to use your Bastion 
to hit hard. And it doesn't matter if the creature now, keep in mind that we are level 4 with the Chain Blades. This is a level 9 Charok. It's really not going to be a problem for you. Okay, you can handle it. But handling it means understanding that, look, these creatures are tough as nails and they are going to get you. Alright, you can try and cause a wound if you want to, but honestly, I usually whirl for even more damage and then just go ham. So the wound is like entirely optional, it's, it just depends on your playstyle. If, you, if you're not so into whirling, you're more into wounding, you might want to swap the hurricane away. Alright, um, but again, it's, it's genuinely up to you which playstyle you choose. With Bastion, it's anything goes. Alright, just going to show you the wounding style after I get away from here, I'll, I'll throw down a supply crate. And modify modify this into a non whirling style and into a wounding style instead um, I don't find the wounding style to be useful at higher level play but that's because creatures get tougher and wounding is a lot harder but for speed speeding through the lower levels uh, wounding can be very useful so I'm actually going to show you that right now Okay, so once again, chain pull in. Now you can still whirl, you can still whirl. But effectively what you're waiting for is opportunities. Use your insatiable dance freely to up your damage. Now you're gonna see an icon for four over there. That's that's indicating that's indicating that uh, your last rating attacks have the extra wound damage. And with this particular build, what you're gonna do is you cause a wound, you get the extra wound damage, you cause another wound. Basically, your wound damage, your wounding uh, attacks become the main focus. In between your slams and whatnot, you're basically just doing all that and dishing out plenty of wounds. Okay, so that's that's all you're realistically doing with this build, and uh, once you have your wound, you can go you can go into your whirling. So it's up to you which kind of style you want to play. Um, I personally prefer the uh, hurricane, but again, it, it's down to a personal preference here. If you wanna, if you wanna wound, go with the wounding style. If you wanna, you know, smash, go with the smashing style. Okay. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you like what I do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you wanna support the channel, you wanna keep it running, you can drop a tip via link in the description of the video. You can send super thanks on YouTube, become a channel member, or purchase Asian robot merchandise. It's up to you. And a big thank you to our November's top supporters, Bravo7910, Crampy D, Johnny Nara, FNX Killer43, Sabi Uzumaki, Alcorn0511, Alien Frost80, Kazmanta, my lovely girl, Zach NFG, Soul Crack, Galaxy Train, Puni Puni, Rogue Assassin, Arsaz Garzi, Lucas Graham, and I'm a Boxhead. Appreciate each and every one of you, and don't forget the Throne of Honor. Puni Puni only fan, Nate the Great only fan, JB Best Prestige, Zach NFG Prestige, The Forgotten Prestige, Ian Bodres Prestige. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you all on the next one, folks.